Hello, my name is Derek Robbins and since I've left school in 1983 all I've ever done is work in the plumbing and gas industry. For the last 20 years I've been training plumbers and gas engineers and for the last 10 I've owned and run my own business with my daughter called Tomcat Gas Training. This series of videos is going to take me away from what I know. It's going to run alongside our training videos and it's going to take me in places I've never been and things I've never done before. So hopefully you're here for the ride. Hopefully you'll enjoy the video. Hello and welcome to the first Gas Engineer Does. In this series I'm going to be doing some weird and wonderful things, taking me away from the things that I know. First of all, let's get the coffee on, let's get the dog out and let's have a look at what we're doing. So while I'm taking the dog out for a walk, I thought I'd give you some info and the background into why I'm doing this film today. So the story goes, when I was an apprentice working for my dad's company, this would be back in maybe 84, 85, we had a big job on putting central heating into a scout hut. Short of manpower, my dad says, Uncle Barry's going to give us a lift. Now I thought to myself, Uncle Bazza was fired from being a plumber. He ended up working for BT, put his telephones in, so he's going to be rubbish. And my uncle Baz is now no longer with us, so it's a dedication to him. And uncle Barry was my dad's best mate growing up. Loved spending time with uncle Baz, even if he was a Man City fan. Anyway, when he turns up on the job, he says to me, before we get started, we're having a full English breakfast. And I thought, what the bloody hell is he going to do that? We haven't got anything to cook it on. So he gives me this list, gives me some money and says, get out to the shop and buy this. So when he gets back, he's all set up. He's got one of the shovels out of the van, cleaned it all up, got the blow lamp out and he was warming the shovel up. And he cooked, believe it or not, the breakfast on the shovel. Now, it was the best breakfast I've ever had. It was absolutely amazing. So my task today is repeat it. I can gonna cook a breakfast and only stuff what's in the back of my truck. Now this is either gonna be amazing or absolute rubbish. My wife reckons I can't boil an egg. <laughs> so my money's on it being rubbish but anyway i'm gonna cook it and i'm gonna eat it so let's get finishing taking the butt out and then let's get back to it So this is the truck, let's look in the back and get the stuff out. Now hopefully we've got enough stuff in here to be able to do this task. Let's get it all out into the garden and let's see what we've got. Okay so this is most of the stuff what's out of my truck. So you can see my tool bag, the blue bag is my PPE stuff. Um, where the gloves are, that is my brand new um, battery operated grinder which I'm looking forward to using because it's the first time I've used it and I got it last week for cutting flues from boilers and then I've got sand and cement and bricks and there's the shovel that's what we're going to be cooking it on that's what I've got to clean up and then I've even, because we went to the Taste of Face concert in the truck I've even got a seat in the back so that was good so that's the stuff we've got. All we've got to do now is get set up and get ready for cooking. So, 
this is a setup we've just done. Go on, dog, out the way. So let's have a look. This is the spade. I've had to borrow so uh, the garden chair. So hopefully you'll forgive me for that. So if I remove the spade with the shovel we're going to be cleaning up, you can now see what we've done. So using the bricks, what we're in the back of my van. <laughs> okay, you can see I've got my two blow lamps. I'm going to be lighting them and pointing them up, and this is my setup for the day and try and keep the dog out of the way so we've even got our firefighting stuff set up okay so now I need to get uh, this cleaned up so I need to get the PPE equipment on first so let's get that done right, so we're all set up got my uh, personal protective equipment on as you can see already health and safety always first Rose. Cozzy, you got your PPE on. Where's your ad at? So we're gonna now grind and clean, try and clean this up. Okay, so let's have a go with that now. Hopefully now, I've cleaned these up. So I've actually cleaned my two trowels up as well, which were in the box, because I'm gonna be using these for my cooking utensils. Now, one of the things my wife said is, hygiene, so she won't let me cook unless I clean these things up first. So I've gotta give them a spray and a wipe and then wash them under the tap. But Uncle Barry never did that stuck in and straight on it so let's uh, so I'll let you know if I'm poorly today <laughs> so I'm gonna give these a rinse now under the tap outside we're well, using the fire hose and um, let's get cooking! set up and ready for going. Spade all cleaned up now, brickwork all set, trowels all cleaned up, and my wife's brought the food out ready. Okay, going to be using a bit of uh, extra virgin olive oil, olive oil to do my cooking. So, first thing is we need to get these blow lamps lit, so let's get them lit. So 
and climbing rapidly. Now I haven't got a clue what temperature this should be. So we're now up to 200 degrees. So I'll put some oil on and see what happens. Pretty up. Let's get a sausage on, see what happens. Oh my word, look at these sausages quick. I think I might need to turn the heat down a bit. So the sausages seem to be going well. Let's get a bit of bacon on. Can't need a bit of bacon. temperature of my bacon. Sausages are doing pretty good. Again, what temperature should it be? I have no clue. Now, everything seems to be going well. Sausages, I'll just pull to one side now, keep them out of the way. Bacon's going. I've got a clue if it's alright or not. Wife does this. She tells me what I'm alike with bacon. So, uh, I normally get the rubbish bit at the end. Like. So, I'm going to try an egg now. So, bacon's cooking. Put a little bit more oil on and then I'm going to uh, cook my egg. A little bit more oil in. I've seen my wife doing this when she's cooking eggs. Okay, so. <laughs> How oh, the bloody hell do you break eggs? <laughs> That's how I go. <laughs> this could be... This could be messy. Oh, it's looking good so far. Oh, <laughs> oh no! <laughs> That's one rubbishy looking egg. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> eggs looking a bit rubbish at the moment. I'm just going to cut these sausages in half to make sure they're cooked through into the middle. Because uh, at the end of the day, I've got classes tomorrow and I don't want to be poorly. I'll tell you what, these are better than a knife. <laughs> like um, runny eggs. So I'm going to flip it over, see, ooh, look at that, it's not stuck. And it's not burnt on the bottom either. So you can see what I've done with the sausages. So, uh, now then, is it going to be as good as Uncle Baz's? Only time will tell. Not far off now. I don't know whether to make toast or not. I'll have to go up that in a bit. So this is nearly done. Okay, so <laughs> whether this is gonna work or not, I don't know. So I'm gonna have a go at making toast. Here we go. I think we'll have it on low light.
about six pieces of crust because I do like a pa I'm partial to a crust. Let's give it the other side. Well, let's get it buttered. Okay, so made me toast. Let's get it buttered. Still using a trowel. Oh. If the dog wants to come in and have some of then. So, let's get this butty made. Okay, so, I'm gonna make the sandwich now. Now my wife has told me I've gotta use a plate. So let's get the egg on first, so you can see what it all looks like, looking pretty good. Let's get the egg on. Let's get my uh, sausages on. And finally, oops, the bacon. So, somebody gave you this on a ca in a cafe, would you actually know? whether I've just cooked it on a spade or not. So let's get the lid on. Let's get it cut in half. Let's get a brew on, get in the garden and eat it. Okay, I've got my uh, cappuccino. I have to think of a way of uh, making cappuccino without a cappuccino maker. And I've got my sandwich, so here goes. Well, that tastes like a bacon sausage and egg sandwich. It's not burnt. Down to the second bit now, near the end. I'm still alive. You want some? Okay. Well, you're not having any. It's too good for you. Okay, so the last mouthful. At the moment, I'm still alive. It tasted like a bacon, egg, and sausage sandwich. Amazing. I'd just like to thank my cameraman, William. Say hello, Will. Hello. <laughs> for his great filming. I'd like to thank my amazing wife for telling me where I was going wrong. Basically, doing it. I'd like to thank the dog for not getting too much in the way. Go ahead, Rose. Say goodbye. Say goodbye to everyone, Rose. Say goodbye. I'm going to share a little bit with Rosie, because she deserves it, because she did wear a PPE while we were doing this. So, Cheers everyone! Clean up Rosie! Clean up! <laughs>